This lesson is on the concept and language of factors. I will explore the factors of a number, and the number that I'm going to investigate now is the number 18. So what are the factors of 18? I know that 1 is a factor of 18 because 1 is a factor of all the numbers that I've been studying. So I'm going to start with 2 because I want to explore whether 2 is a factor of 18. So I have 18 pegs and I'm going to lay them out in sets of 2 and see if I can do that evenly. So if 2 goes into 18 evenly, I call 2 a factor of 18. So 2 taken 9 times equals 18. 2 is a factor of 18. The next factor I'll explore is 3. Is 3 a factor of 18? If 3 goes into 18 evenly, then 3 is a factor of 18. Here's 3 taken 6 times. 3 is a factor of 18. 3 and 6 are factors of 18. Let's try 4. If 4 goes into 18 evenly, then 4 will be a factor of 18. It looks like 4 does not go into 18 evenly. So 4 is not a factor of 18. What about 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five does not go into 18 evenly. So 5 is not a factor of 18. Let's try 6. Yes, I can see that 6 is a factor of 18. 6 taken 3 times equals 18. I've tried to see whether 7 is a factor of 18, and it was not, nor is 8 a factor of 18. The next factor of 18 is 9. 9 taken 2 times equals 18. So I've seen that 2 is a factor of 18, 3 is a factor of 18, 6 is a factor of 18, 9 is a factor of 18. The word factor comes from the Latin word facere, which means to make. Factors are numbers that make other numbers when they are multiplied together. 
the child may notice that these two rectangles are equal to each other. They're actually equivalent rectangles, and they both have the same factors, 2 and 9. So the commutative law of multiplication tells us that 2 taken 9 times equals 9 taken 2 times. These two rectangles are also equal, and they both have the factors 3 and 6.